school went a lot better today than it did yesterday. Yesterday was a swear word. 100%. <laughs> Not a good day. Until about 3 p.m. it was not good and now that, that's from like 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. it was a very long day so Jason took us out to dinner <laughs> aka a drive-through we all got out got in the car went for a drive decompressed sat in a parking lot ate dinner and then went and said hi to his dad came home laughing happier much better everyone went to bed <laughs> called it a night so that's why we didn't film yesterday because it was just so bad but we have the girls set up with their laptops right here I have her password written on the computer right here so I can't show it and then Chelsea has hers upstairs still she had done a lot of listening to um, a book and now she's kind of finishing a worksheet from yesterday because it took us so long to get access to that book yesterday that she just didn't get time to work on the actual assignment so She's got a little bit of catching up to do this morning. Ashley has been done. Hers is the easiest. I mean, she's in first grade, so it should be the easiest. Abby's done for the day. Kaylee's taking a break from hers, and we'll have to get back in it. She's going to be doing hers for quite a bit today um, to kind of catch up from not getting it done yesterday. But I am bored, and I don't want to just sit down and turn on Netflix, although that's really, really tempting. It's pouring rain outside. Gross, cold. Jason's dad went to Costco for us, which is super nice. He's been going for us for the past couple weeks um, and getting our food. Um, and no, he's not at risk. He goes during the early morning hours where older people can go, so they're at less risk. And he, his health is fine, and he just wants to be able to shop for us. So I am bored, and I am so sick of the little toys. Right, Abby? From where? Anywhere. Oh, right? Yeah. All the little knickknacks. The room is... Oh my gosh. We literally cleaned this at bedtime last night. I don't even understand. It's not messy that bad, but like why do the tissues have to stay on the floor? When the garbage can is right there. I don't get it. Because why, Chels? Yeah. So, aside from the fort out here... The room is clean per se, but I don't know. I'm just so sick of this stuff. I'm so sick of it. Like I'm so sick. But that was broken apparently. Yeah. That just broke. I might kick you out to downstairs so you don't see what I throw away. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go through the closets. They're pretty good. But see, this is their idea of putting. This is their idea of putting stuff away. Monopoly. Not me. Chelsea, don't get so defensive. It just happens, and it's not bad. I'm just kind of sick of a lot of the knickknacks that I know I can get away, give away, or throw away. Go down and get me. Can you reach the garbage bags downstairs or no? Yes, you can. Can you? No. Yes, you can. If I can, you can. Are there any knickknacks in the fort, Chelsea? Stop, you don't you ask what knickknacks are? All know. the little stuff. No, not all the little stuff, just everything you use. Okay, do you have any like American Girl doll stuff in the fort? Mm -hmm. Or is it all out of the fort? Because like this stuff, this is the kind of stuff. All of this stuff, that stuff drives me insane. All of this stuff. And it's everywhere. It's so that's the only thing in there. Yeah. But still, slime. I don't believe More that. stuff. Here. So Abby's gone cool. through her room. She won't let me show her face. <laughs> Even though she's really cute. So this is stuff you don't want and Kaylee and Abby. Or well, that's they, a Camp or Kyla shirt. but. Okay, we don't need that anymore. That's the shirt you want to see. Well, I, it's a good costume shirt. Okay. Right? Yeah, sure, keep it. Okay, see we can put that one into the cos costume bucket. Um, you can get rid of those. 
these spray shirts. Um, we're a long ways away from someone using those, and Don't. go ahead and donate. I, I, I didn't even buy any of this stuff. Where did it come from? Keely store. It's been in there for a long time. No one will wear those. Yeah. Okay, we'll go through that. All right. So Abby's got a whole bag of donate stuff already. Um, our garage is gonna fill up because we've got all this stuff that we're gonna donate. We can't get rid of it yet, but um, I'm gonna do. Jason just came out, and he's gonna help me. Heaven help me. All right. So ignore the kids behind me. This is the before in the closet and the floor. It's really not messy. It's hard to see that we've actually, you guys, got stuff to throw away, but trust me, this is the before. All right, so like I've said, this is the before of their bedroom. Like, we've got to figure out some kind of a storage system for their American Girl doll stuff. Um, and I, their floor is pretty good. They've got a few things here. This stuff, I think I'm gonna go through and I don't know, I'm starting to really not like all these little knick-knacky things. It's, they just end up on the floor. They just end up on the floor. All right, we're starting on the closet and bringing some other stuff. It's just kind of out of control, but we're getting there. Chelsea is testing all the markers, How right? come we only have two? You just have a few that work? That's all that worked? No, that's all that works. Okay, that's yeah, fine. So, out. Ashley, what are you doing? I'm um, organizing the piles of all the American Girl dolls, here's the accessories, dolls, and clothes, and the horse stuff. How about all the horse accessories still go in with the accessories? Okay. Okay, and then is that bucket behind you empty now? Yeah. Okay, okay give me that me little character, some. that little character on the floor right there horse. by the couch, not the horse, the little guy right there. Hand that to me. And then there's a bunch of garbage over there. Can you go hand me the garbage? Thank you, thank you. All right, we've finished all of the closet space and their bedrooms. So what we've got in here, dress up clothes in both of these bins. And then there's one more bin right there with dress up clothes. We kind of had an overflow and we had an empty bucket. Then these are puzzles. Um, very specific time when Abby or Ashley can get those out. I don't like to lose the parts. So then down here I kind of have toys that I'm saving for grandkids. They don't play with these very much, but they're kind of classics. So I've got um, Legos here and then these are Tinker Toy, or no, these are Lincoln Logs, My Little Ponies, Tinker Toys, then all of their Disney characters, train set, and the big like Duplo Legos back there. Then on this side, these are empty buckets. There's three of them here, one of them back there. And they're gonna be used for blankets. All the blankets from the fort are gonna go into those buckets when there's not a fort. I wish that was today, but I'm letting them have the fort during quarantine. Then we went through all the games and they always put all the extra pieces right there. You saw that before. So we've gone through all the extra pieces and we put them all away. We've got Monopoly games up top here, as well as a trio and a cupcake game. Then we've got all these little kid type games here, as well as here. The teenagers tend to like these games more. I don't know, they're just all more in size order than anything else. There's more down there. These are our card games. Right here, we organized all the cards and put them back where they go. There's bananagrams. So, then that bucket there has some books in them, and the chalk bucket, and just more games back in there. So, overall, I like that we've got all of that cleaned out. Then in Ashley and Chelsea's room, the floor is all clean. All the trinkets are put away, right Ashley? Yeah. The stuff is on her bed right now because I'm going to vacuum really quick and then I can put that back. They're going to make a little corner for American Girl doll stuff right here, right Ashley? we got to figure out a nice way to organize it. Maybe we might put um, our American Girl doll thing here. That's my dream. What I want to do, she, we've talked about this, yeah. is to get an actual dresser. And I want a tall dresser. I want it to be want up to like here on the wall because I want to have a lot of shelves. I mean, a lot of drawers to put their clothes in. We would put all our clothes in here, and that would be like 
empty, we could put like American Girl doll stuff in like. Yep. You could have one bucket with the doll clothes and one bucket with the accessories and a little spot where the dolls could sit inside the cubicle shelf, right? Yes. Yes, that's our dream, but we don't have money to buy the dresser right now. I've been watching on the free sites, but they're kind of closed down now during quarantine. So that's kind of the plan as soon as things open back up. All right. It's been, I don't know, an hour and a half since we finished cleaning up, had lunch, relaxed for just a second. It's only like 2 or 2.30, so we're doing pretty good for the day. Let me show you what we are going to donate eventually. And then our trash pile, I think, is already in the recycle. But I wish we could take this with us right now, but it'll have to wait. I've got this whole bag with stuffed animals. And then those two bags with donate stuff, including this cute little, I don't know. Maybe I won't get rid of that guy, but I don't know. These, these buggers are expensive. But she doesn't play with it anymore. Then there's that bag of garbage. Pretty sure we filled up the recycle bin with garbage. The garbage can probably has some more as well. For now, Jason and I are going to go. Um, we realized we forgot a few things from Costco when Jason's dad went. Kind of felt bad having him get some of the extra things that we wanted to get. And we are only, I think we're down to what, three allergy pills left? Yeah, we need some of that. And all of us are kind of taking it. So we're just going to go run and grab a few we things need from Costco. Up here no, oh, and his dad couldn't find garlic pasta, that frozen pasta that we love. I oh, recently saw a recipe to make it go further. Um, you add, you can add like spinach and stuff, but I know that these guys won't eat that. But you can add pesto sauce and um, cream cheese to kind of thicken it up and cream it up and whatnot. So I really wanted to try that, at least with my portion of it, maybe. But his dad said that they didn't have any at Costco this morning. So I don't think we'll be able to get that. We're having to find stovetop items that we can cook on the stove because the actual oven is broken still. The igniter switch, which should be here, what, in two to ten days? Yeah, hopefully you guys have already <laughs> seen that video. I'm kind of compiling the video of our fridge or our stove being broken and putting it all into one video. We're, we're waiting on the part. So this video might go up before that so if you're kind of confused that's what's going on all right we went to costco we'll show you what we got in a minute help you. uh large coke please anything else for you no okay no good. i guess that's it thanks so we're driving through and jason's like oh all soda drinks are a dollar oh that's cool <laughs> <laughs> I'm not addicted that, like you. I've just been that way for years, dude. No, I'm not You're crazy. Like you. Yeah, they are. <laughs> we sat in our car for like five <laughs> minutes. We're like, we don't want to go inside. And the kids are like, yeah, they're here. <laughs> they just opened the door. Got Coke. All right, we got necessities. We have Coke. And this is kind of something. Oh, that got something on it. So I'll show you later. Um, I've got empty shelves in that kid, the kid's toy closet now. So I can turn half of it into a linen closet. I, we, this is probably the third or fourth time in our marriage that we have bought new towels. That's really lame, I know, but we're gonna give um, the kids our old towels. <laughs> we're gonna keep the new ones. And we don't buy new sheets very often as well. And Jason's side, AKA my old side, no, AKA my old side, not. according to you. No, not has, by your feet where you rub them all night. <laughs> no, I don't. You, you it has a, I just said, the whole, there's a hole in the sheet. So we got a new set of sheets. Those are like $15 <laughs> yeah, and this. We'll go wash them. Yes. And then I got, so <laughs> I don't know if they didn't have these stocked up when Jason's dad went this morning or if he just didn't actually look, I don't know. So we got some of that garlic pasta. I did get my sunscreen. This is the coral reef sunscreen. I don't know. I'm still holding out hope. Then I got my breakfast drinks and melatonin and allergy pills. So I think that's it, right? Yeah. All right. My eyes are red because I'm this the corner of my eye is all puffy. Allergies are bugging me today. I don't know why it's worse for me on rainy days, but Look at my well-balanced meal that I just made for everyone while everyone got to sit and watch their electronics. Look at this. I take all the broccoli from the garlic pasta. 
I only get two strawberries for the day. And then, look at all that. And I added cream cheese to this pasta. Doesn't really look like it, but it tastes pretty good, doesn't Abby? Okay, mm. Ashley, you wanna say goodnight to everyone? You're still groggy from watching your iPad for an hour? <laughs> yes. Yes, you wanna play Rumi Cube and Fendi again? We found all the dice um, cleaning out all the toys earlier today, so that we've been playing Tenzi and Rumi Cube. And look at this cute bu bucket that we found to put all the toys in. It's kind of cute, so. Um, anyway, we're gonna close out our video today and say goodbye to you guys, because I'm gonna probably go over to my friend's house and deliver some fudge. We had a friend bring it to us and it has nuts in it. No bueno. We don't eat fudge with nuts in it. It messes it up. So take care you guys. We're going to all sit down and eat dinner and enjoy our night. You guys have a good night and we'll see you later.